There's a great movie. I might as well plug it because the sequel is coming out. But the guys that produced it, they did a really good job. Uh, it's the bubble movie, right? And if you go to um, uh, letusdisagree.com, you can see this movie. But it, it, the guy that produced it, Jimmy Morrison, and, you know, I remember he came to my office and filmed me. This is, he started it back in, like, 2010 or something because he wanted to talk to the people that predicted the 2008 financial crisis and get their perspective on what the government did wrong. And so this is a whole movie about the history of how government has screwed stuff up. Is going all a, the way back to, you know, the, the, the Great Depression. Because there's, you know, there's a lot of misinformation out there about why we had the Depression. People say, oh, it's because we had too much capitalism. It's not. It's because we had too much government. We had a Depression in 1920 that nobody knows about because it ended so quickly because the government did nothing. The reason we had a Great Depression in the 30s was because Herbert Hoover did the same type of stuff that Trump is doing. Herbert Hoover was the first big interventionist president that started spending money to prime the pump to try to make it better. Hey, we can't just sit back and allow people to lose their jobs. And so Hoover interfered in the economy and helped create the Great Depression. And then Roosevelt came in and just expanded on Hoover's failed programs. And the Great Depression spanned the entire decade of the 1930s. We didn't get out of the Depression until 1945 when we ended the Second World War and government finally started to get smaller. But this movie goes all the way back to that, and then it goes to the housing bubble. And, and so it's a great movie to really show how the government creates these problems with well-intentioned uh, programs. And this, the sequel is about to come out, which is about the next crash, which is the one that's coming. Have you ever heard of unemployment? Most young people can't even buy jobs. It's right here in America, if you own your own home, are you realizing the American dream? I ran for president in large measure because I wanted to restore that dream. Do you realize how ridiculous you are? Why? Why is that ridiculous? Because you can't buy a house before you have a job. You get a job, you save for a down payment, then you buy the house. A lot of people are going to find out, oh my God, you know, not only is, is my, my stocks down, my house is down too, and now what do I do? One myth that's out there is that what we're doing is printing money. We're not printing money. So we're not a free market then. There no, is an invisible, no, there's no. a benevolent hand that touches us. These people in the government apparently don't learn anything at all. I got a B in that Econ 101. I got an A, however, in keeping taxes low. What do you think a stimulus is? It's gonna be the worst recession we've had in a long time, perhaps since the Second World War, because the federal government keeps making mistakes. They broke it, and they're trying to fix it by doing more of what broke it in the first place. The United States can pay any debt it has because we can always print money to do that. Uh, what? Of course it could happen again, and it's happened before. I hope they don't lose confidence in their government. I can see why there's skepticism, but it's the only government we got.